Gabby, and you're watching Gigabit Kids. Yeah! Gigabit Kids is an incredible new virtual world where kids and parents can learn about cybersecurity, how to prevent bullying, fun facts about Barbados, and so much more. Explore custom planets with our heroes, Bitbot, the cutest little guy, and Miranda Moncus as they battle against the tech tyrant, Zach Rat. <laughs> You see, Zach Kratt is on a mission to cause havoc in the cyber world, and our heroes are determined to stop him. They'll use skills learned from STEM, reading, and quizzes existing in the Gigabit Kids world. Using your tablet, computer, smartphone, or even a VR headset, log on to gigabitkids.com to learn and explore today. Hi, Gabby. Welcome to the Barbies Museum and Historical Society. I am the Senior Tour Guide and I'll be happy to take you on tour today. I'm quite excited for today. My name is Elizabeth Hines. I am the Senior Tour Guide for the Barbados Museum and Historical Society. Um, what that basically means is not only am I responsible for guiding the tours that the museum provides, I'm also responsible for the research and the planning of the tours as well. We do several guided tours of both the museum premise but also of different areas in Barbados such as Bridgetown, Garrison and Spitestone. We also do bus tours and I'm responsible for the logistics of those bus tours and ensuring that they succeed at the end of the day as well. Oh wow! Wow, this is beautiful. So do you know any fun facts about the Connor Gallery? Um, this gallery is focused on black portraiture particularly scenes around the Caribbean and Caribbean diaspora, particularly during the colonial period. So you're gonna notice several scenes here. You might even notice some famous prints. So over on this side, I don't know if you recognize this figure here. Unfortunately, I do not. I'm not very cultured <laughs> in the paint world. And, like, I like arts and crafts and not this. This lady here, this is Rachel Pringle Paul Green. She was one of the first black businesswomen in Barbados. Um, unfortunately, she seemed to have run afoul of a cartoonist. So this is actually not what she looked like. This is just a caricature of her. However, you'll notice a lady in the background. From our historic records, we believe this is what she actually looked like, and that's backed up by the gentleman in front of her. Um, her father was known to have elephantitis, and one of the symptoms of that is that she's swelling of the calves, which is why we believe this gentleman is her father. And then the gentleman peeking through the window is supposed to be her husband, Thomas Pringle. Oh, that's actually very interesting how mm -hmm. much history you can tell from a, from a portrait or a painting. Now, most people look at it as an insult, but um, other persons have posited more recently that a lot of persons when they were wealthy were actually depicted as being a larger bodied because that was another way of telling wealth. Basically okay. the wealthier you are the better fed you're expected to be. And you mentioned that you like oh, arts and crafts. I don't know if you've ever heard of shell art but this bouquet here and all the bouquets on the four corners of the room actually are made of shell. Oh wow that's beautiful and so detailed. Mm -hmm. How does one make this so, like, so, oh, I want to touch it so badly, <laughs> but I better keep my hand behind my back. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow. So how long must it take to collect these shells? Collecting shells enough to do this would take days. The actual construction would take weeks because you also have to wait in stages for the glue to dry. And as for the glue itself, it would be made of the clama cherry. Um, you, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's a very pale um, beige berry and the juice is usually quite sticky. So it's actually made of a natural, a natural glue. Oh wow, so, that's, so like all of this, there's nothing um, artificial nope. about this. Wow. It's also the reason it's so protected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a bigger example if you come this way. Oh, wow. Okay, can so I this touch is this one or of, just... No. Okay. <laughs> this is one of our larger examples of shell art in the museum. Like, I, I am so amazed. Something that I probably shouldn't be saying, but these shells match my shoes. <laughs> That's like the main, this is the first thing I realized. And I love purple, violet, all like iridescent things. These shells really caught my eye in the mm -hmm. center. Wow. 
Again, I'm keeping my hands behind my back for, for safety reasons. And something that would be interesting for you to know is that um, we do, um, it, it was a, a old form of a hobby where persons would do shell collecting here in Barbados. So there's still persons who have um, shells that they've collected over time. And then you have persons who've even gone overseas to places as far as Madagascar collecting shells. Oh, wow. So like that is an amazing pastime, especially in Barbados where beaches are so accessible. These collection of paintings here are by Goldie White. She was one of the first black persons within Barbados to make a career out of being an artist. Um, so several of her pieces have been donated to the museum, but one of the things that's very important about her work, she believed in depicting people as they were. So, so she doesn't make an effort to um, make enhance certain features within the paintings to make them more beautiful than they would have been in, in person because she has a natural appreciation for what they would have looked like. Um, so these are six of her pieces here. And then we also have one more painting of hers in this case over here and the print that she would have also done as well. Yes. Wow. This one is one of our larger paintings. This is known as the Governor Goes to Church. And it's basically looking at his progression. He's making his way into Bridgetown to go to church at the parish church here. It also gives you a good view of Carlisle Bay as it would have looked like before we have all the modern buildings that exist today. This fort in the corner right here is actually where the modern day Hilton Hotel would sit. Oh wow. This is where Charles Fort would have been. And this one way on the other side of the bay, we believe that this would be James Fort. I'm very wow, I'm stunned. Like this is an amazing piece of art. Jeez. And we do not have the proper year for it, but this would be one of the paintings from the sixteen hundreds. Okay.